Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video. Today I have for you 50 plus furniture build tips and tricks for Minecraft. If you do enjoy the video, make sure to slap the like button and let's get straight into it. So first we've got some chair designs and this one is simply three birch stairs curved at the ends with trapdoors surrounding it. And next to that, we also have a smaller version with a single stair and trapdoor surrounding it again. Next, we have this big kind of like lounge sofa couch design. It's stone slabs in the middle, three, and then it's surrounded by white wall. And of course, you can change the color up to whatever you want. Next, we have this L-shaped sofa design, which is just stairs and slabs put together. And we're using the curved stair technique where you basically place a stair forward facing and then place one to the side and it kind of curves off the end, giving it a rounded look. Next to that, we then have the same kind of design out of quartz, but with some snow layers in front of it this time to give it more of a modern aesthetic. Then we have a super simple armchair using four sandstone stairs, and you pretty much just place them in a little C shape, and it kind of just curves around, making the perfect armchair. We then have this awesome little single chair made from snow layers and iron trapdoors. The iron trapdoors are just placed around the edges, and of course, there's redstone torches underneath, so it allows them to be flicked upwards. Then we have an awesome bar chair design, just a fence, a carpet, and then a trapdoor on the back. And next to that, I kind of like to call this like a fisherman's chair. It's four fences put together and then two on the back. And it kind of just makes a really cool like decking chair without actually using many materials at all. And finally, we have more of like a bench chair look. Oak slabs all the way along. Then we have trapdoors either side and on the back, making a pretty awesome looking chair. Next, we'll be moving on to some table designs. And first off, we have a design using four anvils, string on the floor, and then black carpet going across the top. The string is to, of course, keep the carpet afloat. Next, we have the same kind of design using white carpet going along the top string, and then some upside down stairs facing inwards. Kind of looks like an ironing board. Then we have this awesome bar table using two M rods and a white carpet on top. This would go very well with the bar chair I showed you just before. We then have this really, really awesome table design using signs, string, and carpet. The sign is placed and the carpet can go on top and the top of the sign shows through, giving it a really awesome look. The next table design is four glass panes, making a little square with four cyan carpets on top. More of a futuristic design, I think. And the next one is super simple, just a fence with a pressure plate on top, which is pretty old school Minecraft. Next, we have a table fully made out of sandstone. So we have the slabs and the stairs. Stairs facing inward, slabs in the middle, and it kind of makes a nice big dining room table, more for the traditional kind of house. Next, we then have an end rod surrounded by string with carpet on top, making a more modern table design. Then again, with the modern designs, we have snow slabs in the center going along, string around the entire thing, and then carpet on the top. We then have a super simple dining room table designs with four fences, carpet on top, which I think looks pretty nice. Now moving on to some bed designs, first off we have a super traditional style bed uh, using wool and snow layers to give the different layers of the bed. We then have a chest on the end for storage and an awesome looking backboard. Next is more of a modern kind of look using the actual Minecraft bed surrounded in snow layers and it gives it an awesome futuristic modern kind of look. We then move on to this awesome bunk bed design using trapdoors and signs to make the kind of barriers and then we have the Mojang beds and this thing looks absolutely awesome. Then we have another single traditional bed using clay and snow and we also have a dark wooden backboard which I think adds a lot. And then we have this awesome luxury kind of bed with uh, fences holding up an overhang and this would definitely look awesome in like, like a big survival mansion kind of thing because hey it does look pretty cool and there's also a chest for storage as well. Next we then have a kind of like a cot or a crib for maybe a small child or a baby. Uh, it's just the Minecraft bed with signs surrounding it make it look like there's uh, barriers around it so the child may not be able to get out. It's just a cool little idea if you do have, say, a family house in Minecraft, and you could definitely use this for that. Then another modern bed design. We've got a nice gray backboard with the uh, snow layers making the cushions, and then we have quartz slabs to kind of make the throw of the bed. We then have a sleeping bag design, which I thought I'd chuck in. Super, super simple, but hey, it is effective if you are making a campsite. You might want to use this. Just carpet with a snow layer on the end to make the cushion. Then we have a double bunk bed design. This is a bit more uh, advanced than the other bunk bed. It's just basically the same kind of thing with two double beds and signs surrounding everything and fences holding up the second uh, story. Last of all for the beds, we have this awesome luxury traditional bed. Uh, it's pretty huge. Uh, we've gone for the more uh, darker colors with this. A lot of detailing on the back using stairs, buttons and slabs. And it's just an all-round cool bed. If you do have the time to make something like this, it would definitely look awesome in a castle or a mansion. 
Now moving on to some more all round helpful designs and shelving units. First we have this cool wardrobe design using the trapdoors, the emeralds as the rail above the wardrobe. And then you place the white banners down on top of each other and it kind of looks like clothes are hanging. Next we have this cool kind of maybe entertainment unit using the signs, the item frames and the carpet which do look like drawers. We then have an awesome shelving unit made out of doors and trap doors just placed together to look like shelves. We then have an awesome wine rack using sandstone stairs facing inwards and they kind of make these little cutout cubes and it looks like wine could slide right in there and it's a, it's a pretty nice design. We then have a super simple modern shelving unit basically using clay either side with iron trapdoors going along. This would definitely look good in a modern house. We then have a glass wardrobe design using trapdoors, glass, wood and then we also have the signs and the item frames. Again, with another chest to draw design or wardrobe using the same kind of features, but just in a different way. Then have a nice big shelving unit using the spruce stairs and the slabs with a bigger shelf opening on the bottom and a more slimline one above that. Last of all, we have this awesome bookshelf design using the Minecraft bookshelves on the bottom and then trapdoors to make up the shelves above it. Next up, we have this toilet design using quartz stairs, trapdoors, and a lever. These stairs go back to back on the bottom, facing upside down. A quartz block on the back for kind of the base of the toilet, trapdoor for the lid, and then a seat for the chain, which you can pull, but it does uh, activate the trapdoor. Next, we have a bathroom sink design using ice to replicate a mirror. And basically, with this, you build the exact same thing you have in front of us here behind the ice to kind of replicate a mirror reflection and this will look good in any bathroom and you can use it on bigger rooms and smaller rooms and of course the cauldron can be filled with water for a pretty good sink we then have a simple lamp post design using fences stone slabs a sea lantern and then the signs just surround the sea lantern to kind of uh to kind of hide the ugly sides then going on to a washing machine design using upside down quartz stairs, four quartz blocks on the back, and then we place four quartz stairs going around in kind of like an O shape, and uh, then some snow layers on the back, and it kind of just gives an awesome big American washing machine design. We then have a TV unit using black clay glass, and then glass panes to replicate the TV because they're thinner and uh, kind of look more flat screen. We then have this amazing piano design which is made of quartz slabs and then the clay uh, in diagonal shape to kind of make the body of the piano and then some other details like the brewing stands for the piano pedals and the fences as like the supports with these slabs on top to kind of form the lid of the piano. We then have an awesome reading lamp and reading chair. It's basically two end rods with a skeleton skull. You can use any head on the top of this. I just think the skull goes better with the end rod color and you give yourself an awesome reading lamp. And it actually admits light because it is an end rod, which is actually really, really cool. We then have a computer design and desk. We have some upside down stairs with slabs for the desk. And then the pressure plate and painting for the computer with a stone wall to replicate the desktop. We then have a water machine, which is basically just ice with a lever under it and a trapdoor on top. And this would look pretty good in any office space. We then have a planter design with basically an oak block fence and two leaves on top with signs surrounding it for a little added decoration to your house. Finally, we have this bathroom design using quartz stairs for the bathtub in a circle. We then have a lever for the shower head, some iron shelves, and then we have the glass for kind of like the shower door. And this bathroom, of course, would look pretty good in any modern house. Anyway guys, that has been it for the 50 plus furniture designs and kind of building tips and tricks in Minecraft. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to slap the like button. Let's try and get this video to a thousand likes. Subscribe for more content if you are new around here. With notifications on so you get notified every time I upload. Once again, thank you so, so much for watching. Love you all so much. Stay creative, stay positive, and I will see you in my next Minecraft video. Bye guys.